Hi, and welcome to Who Rocks New Mexico? I'm Richard Holcomb. Each week we get up close and personal with the companies that rock New Mexico and take you behind the scenes to get the story behind the story. Today we'll meet Body by Vi's Dodie Osborne and discover how her love of a healthier, successful you is changing people and companies. We'll look at some of the great ranches of New Mexico with Max Keeney of Centerfire Realty. But first, let's travel north and see the works and hear the story of one of the masters of the Taos art community, Charles Collins. Charles Collins is the most awarded artist in the history of the Taos Fall Arts Festival. His works were selected for a prestigious showing at the New Mexico Governor's Gallery, where former Governor Gary Johnson proclaimed a Charles Collins Day throughout New Mexico in his honor. He has been officially claimed a Taos master by the Millicent Rogers Museum and was selected as the inaugural artist by Arlo Guthrie for the Guthrie Center in Massachusetts. I was a little kid and I knew that I was going to be an artist. My mother was an artist and it just seemed to be the right thing to do. My art conveys the interconnectedness of all life on the planet and I feel as though that's the whole point of my art is the interconnectedness of all life and all beauty and all the cultures. I moved here in 1976 and was attracted to Taos because it was an art colony and because there was a pottery here for sale. And I was a potter at the time and a painter. Sculpture is a very demanding medium and so is painting, but physically the sculpture sometimes really is very difficult to work in, but you, have, you push through and create something that's never been created before. One of my favorite pieces is this bronze sculpture of Lincoln, the mastermind piece and it represents, of course, how he united the whole country and he had this unshakable vision. And it's about how we all fit together as Americans. Now, this is a wax for my newest piece that hasn't even gone into bronze yet. And it's the face of William Shakespeare and it's about the mastermind of literature. And I've chosen his play, Julius Caesar, to represent his mastermind. This is Caesar and he has the traditional sword of Rome and the helmet is the traditional helmet. And on his back is the um, coat of arms for William Shakespeare that he designed himself. In the center of the shield diagonally is a jousting lance with a pen quill on the tip. And on the top is an eagle holding the jousting lance with the pen quill. And then this is Mark Anthony, who was also Cleopatra's husband. And on his back, is the cartouche for Cleopatra and the Egyptian symbols. And then the center figure is Cleopatra herself with the crown of Isis and the cobras that represent Upper and Lower Egypt. The Christ sculpture is, of course, about the mastermind of Christianity. And it was actually the whole concept for the mastermind collection, the paintings and everything. When he said, where two or more are gathered in my name, there am I in their midst also. And that's what that sculpture group is about. There's Simon Peter, who's a carrying a basket full of fish. And there's John, who's carrying a basket full of bread. And then, of course, Mother Mary in prayer for humanity. Well, I think everything comes in layers. It's, it's, it's like the sun rises and the light becomes brighter and brighter and brighter. And through different shadows and filters, you begin to see different images. And the light becomes to a certain place, and it's like, that's it. It's, it is, again, about the power of love, because art creates something different. And if it's done in the right way, the vibration of the art is like having a presence in your house or in your room. And it, it's such a wonderful thing. It's to bring joy. And that's what my gallery is about too, is to bring joy to people who come in and to share it with them. A lot of places rock our state too. Here's another Travel Guide New Mexico moment.
We're going to show you another way that you can view Albuquerque, this one from 10,000 feet. So let's take a ride and fly high on the Sandia Peak Tramway. As many times as I've taken this ride, I never get tired of riding the Sandia Peak Tram. So come along for the ride. The Sandia Peak Tram is the world's longest aerial tram. It takes us up 2.7 miles, and when we get to the top, we're at 10,378 feet above sea level. The tram's 43 years old and in its existence has carried over 9 million people and each of these cars can handle about 50 passengers. Here we are going over Tower 2. The car is going to jiggle a little bit. That's half the fun of taking the ride. We're at 8,750 feet and just about halfway up to the top of Sandia Peak. Now here's the tram car that's going down. It has a roof rider on it, and we're about a thousand feet above the ground when the two cars pass. Well, there's a lot of sightseeing to do when you're up here on the top, but there's a lot more than just checking out the views. Boy, there's a lot of great hiking up here. You can take the Crest Trail from the radio TV towers all the way to Harris Canyon. And you can take the La Luz Trail and hike it up, ride the tram down, or ride the tram up and hike it down. We said there's a lot more to do once you're on top, so let's ride the Sandia Peak chairlift. Well, hi, and thanks for coming up to Sandia Peak Ski Area. Uh, we're able to have fun up here year-round. Of course, as a ski area, we have skiing and snowboarding in the winter. Uh, about 26 miles of trails. In the summertime, we have a lot of fun as well. We do mountain biking. Uh, we let gravity help us out quite a bit. Our trick to that is we have our chairlift take the bikes up. We load them on, on specially made bike racks. And then our attendants take off the bikes for the customers, and the customers get a start from the top and ride down. The Sandy Peak Ski Area is a, a great place to come, summer and winter. So feel free to bring your family out and ha have a lot of fun up here. If there's one must-see destination in the greater Albuquerque area, it's the Sandia Peak Aerial Tramway and Ski Area, an adventure you'll want to take your friends and family on winter and summer. For more information, visit sandiapeak.com. Up next, let's take the 90-day challenge. This is where many songs become one, and life dances in perfect rhythm. This is everyday life when it's embraced by the extraordinary. Like no place you've ever been before, this is Albuquerque. Celebrate New Mexico's rising stars. Albuquerque Business First 40 Under 40 Awards. Recognize outstanding young professionals under the age of 40 for their contributions to business and the community. They're the innovators, the deal makers, the influential leaders who excel in their industries. Celebrate with this impressive group at an elegant awards dinner Friday, June 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Sandia Resort and Casino. For more information and to reserve your spot among these stars, go to albuquerquebusinessfirst.com forward slash events. What you don't need when it's time to close your mortgage is a nameless, faceless voice at the other end of a 1-800 number. What you do need is a licensed, local loan officer who will attend your closing, sit with you and answer every one of the questions that you will surely have as you read and sign over 57 legal documents. At Frost Mortgage, we're licensed, we're professional, and we're local. We don't just close loans, we open doors. Ready to take the challenge? Body by Vi's 90 day challenge may be just the thing for all of us who've been struggling to lose weight and lead a healthy, happier lifestyle. 
It's the number one health and fitness challenge in North America, and now currently we're the number two weight loss company in North America. We've doubled what Jenny Craig and Nutrisystems did last year alone, and we're really excited because we are getting a lot of people healthy. New Mexico is getting healthier and healthier. Uh, the Body by Vi Challenge has now launched what's called the Project 10, which is focusing on the first 10 pounds of weight loss. And the main reason they focus on the first 10 pounds is when you hit that 10 pound milestone, you continue to keep on going and, and take whatever it is that you need to take off. I got on it because, well, everyone, everyone was going on it for weight loss. And I saw it as something that I could gain weight with. I saw something I could, I could take for 90 days, if not longer, and actually use it to motivate myself to actually gain weight, to go to the gym, stuff that I wasn't motivated to do before. I was uh, living in the dorms, spending $15 a day on Taco Bell, McDonald's, and Burger King. You know, maybe some Panda Express in there. And, um, and that's, you know, that's killing me from the inside out. And so I saw this as a, um, a healthy shake that cost $2 a day, or $2 a meal. I mean, that's, that's cutting back on my, because food alone is burning a hole in my pocket, so. I've also learned a lot about myself just by doing this, you know. I've, I've done a lot of looking at myself and seeing my negative, like, the points where I can improve on points where I'm already doing well and to improve on those. We're doing some group challenges and some corporate challenges now and Cliff Dweller Digital is one of those companies that took on the 90 day challenge as a corporate challenge and have had amazing results. It's so much fun to see how amazing people are looking and feeling and just a new zest for life. Since I started uh, taking the shakes I've lost 44 pounds. Uh, another thing too is the energy that I've gained, uh, I went from sitting on the couch to running, and I'm running five miles every other day, uh, and I'm currently training for a half marathon. Uh, I really believe this happened because I, I started doing the body by by uh, Not only the energy, but just, uh, just the nutrition that I was getting uh, on a daily basis really gave me the energy to do what I really wanted to do, which was start having an active lifestyle in running. On my first 90-day challenge, I lost 20 pounds. I've had a lot more energy, uh, a lot more uh, spring in my step, and my knees don't hurt so bad. So there's a lot of positive things about taking the weight off, and I'm looking forward to uh, reaching my goal. So this is not only an opportunity to adapt a new lifestyle, take on a 90-day challenge, and challenge yourself to take it to the next level, whatever that is for you and your life, but it's also an opportunity to promote the challenge and earn some additional income. It's as simple as getting on your own 90-day challenge and then inviting a few of your friends over that like to work out and a few of those friends that don't like to necessarily work out and sharing the challenge with them, making some shakes, having a little challenge party, and introducing the 90-day challenge and giving your friends the opportunity to take on a 90-day challenge and improve the quality of their life. To find out more information, go to tv.bodybyvi.com. You can also like me on Facebook, Dodie Osborne. Please join us today on the 90-day Body by Vi Challenge and take on a new you. Up next, when it comes to the land of enchantment, here's one good old boy who really knows his stuff. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson, the owner of American Tire and Service. Do you know what makes a great mechanic? What makes one shop better than another? Training is mighty important. Certification, you bet. Experience, the more the better. Knowledge? Cars are complicated nowadays, and believe me, these mechanics need to know a lot. But do you know what really makes a great mechanic? Heart. It's a passion that drives the mechanic to do the right thing every time. At American Tire, it's the first thing we look for in a mechanic. Of course they have the training, the certifications, the experience, and the knowledge. But heart is what makes it all work for you and for us. Our entire team is dedicated to professional service. We all know that's what it takes to bring you back. We've been helping people like you for over 25 years. We're locally owned and proud to serve you. Come ask for me by name, Doug Wilson. I'd love to serve you. American Tire and Service on Highway 528 between Southern and Northern. The only guys for you.
What makes the Maya's group a little bit different from everybody else is the fact that we're always on the move. We're always working 24-7. When somebody calls up 9 p.m., we're going to be available to take that call. We know what we're doing. We know how to get buyers qualified. We know what it takes to sell a home. By asking simple questions, we will be able to qualify a buyer in a matter of minutes. When you're trusting a real estate professional, you want to know that you have somebody that not only knows people, but knows what they're doing. I was a sales manager for Pulte Homes for a little over six years, and in that time I got a huge amount of knowledge about the overall marketplace. He really listened to what I wanted. He um, showed me houses that really fit my needs, and then he found me my dream home with a view that I really, really wanted. What we felt from Joe was a degree of trust. I have to tell you, was was. Uh, was there from the very minute we, we spoke with him. So if you're thinking about buying or selling a property, give the Maez Group a call. Ask for Joe Maez. I guarantee you, I'm the Joe you should know. New Mexico is still a place of wide open spaces, and Max Keeney of Centerfire Realty knows where most of them are. Center for Real Estate started marketing farms and ranches and homes and other kinds of properties throughout New Mexico way back in 1969. When we first started selling farms and ranches in New Mexico, we primarily thought about the income from that particular operation. Nowadays though, it's expanded out into all kinds of other opportunities. For example, wildlife and hunting and oil and gas and things like solar. Center Fire Real Estate's office is located in central New Mexico, just about 20 minutes from the Albuquerque International Airport. And we uh, handle properties all over the state and we have prospects and clients from all over the world. From the beginning when we first designed our office facility, we realized there was a need for inviting people from out of state to come and stay with us. We have suites upstairs that we would invite you to come and spend an evening or an, uh, even a, several days with us. Whether you're thinking of buying or selling real estate in New Mexico, we have a team of experts in our office who can help you along the way. We can help you with getting through the process of dealing with federal agencies like Forest Service, Bureau of Land Management, or State Land Office. We here at Center Fire Real Estate have a passion for helping you find a place that you're going to enjoy the rest of your life. We look forward to working with you. Today we are visiting a tremendous ranch located northwest of Santa Fe, New Mexico which has been owned by the same family since 1937, and we call it the Santa Fe Ortiz Ranch. This amazing property is beautiful land with longhorns grazing the ranch. It is also perfectly suited for residential development, having already a four-plat subdivision approved. The prestigious community of Las Campanas is nearby, as is the famed Santa Fe Opera, with breathtaking views of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains and the Santa Fe Ski Basin. Dotted with cedar, pinon, and juniper trees amidst native grasses, the Santa Fe Ortiz Ranch is pure country. Yet only a few minutes from historic downtown Santa Fe, rich in culture, art, cuisine, history, and entertainment. To the west are several casinos, golf courses, ancient ruins, and pueblos. A bit further west is the city of Los Alamos, home to Los Alamos National Laboratory, Nestled in the Jemez Mountains near the Valles Caldera, a large extinct volcano rich in wildlife that includes elk, deer, and bear. The property includes a well, a barn, branding pins, and barbed wire around the perimeter of the deeded acreage and the BLM land. Whether your preference is ranch land, a family estate, or residential development, you'll find the Santa Fe Ortiz Ranch a rare find near one of the most intriguing cities in the world, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Calling all cowboys, here's an indoor-outdoor arena facility in Las Vegas, New Mexico with lots of stalls and horse pens, meeting rooms, and a foreman's home with easy access to Interstate 25. This facility was built with rodeo and equestrian events in mind, but this outstanding property is also well suited for other events like concerts and conventions, car shows, and many more. The facility also generates rental income from the New Mexico Highlands Rodeo Team during the school year. If you are looking for a great facility which can be utilized for many activities, the Santa Fe Trails Event Center in Las Vegas, New Mexico may be a place for you to horse around.
New Mexico's black gold means jobs and a large part of New Mexico's revenue. If you're looking for a great family experience and you enjoy playing golf, tennis, swimming, and dining, then Chamisa Hills Country Club in Rio Rancho is the place for you. Chamisa Hills is undergoing a major transformation. If you haven't been here, come on out and see us soon. The 27-hole golf course is coming back to life in a big way with incredible greens and updated fairways and tee boxes. And lessons for your youngsters are great for determining just who will be the next Phil Mickelson on the links. The swimming pool is a great place for the family with lessons for the youngsters and nighttime activities in the summer for members. Tennis lessons year-round and lighted courts for night play. The food? We believe it is the best in the area and our members agree. The monthly prime rib buffet is an incredibly popular event as are the other special menu nights. Chamisa Hills Country Club in Rio Rancho. Come out and join the fun today. For information and specials, visit ChamisaHillsGolfAndCountryClub.com. Celebrate New Mexico's rising stars. Albuquerque Business First 40 Under 40 Awards. Recognize outstanding young professionals under the age of 40 for their contributions to business and the community. They're the innovators, the deal makers, the influential leaders who excel in their industries. Celebrate with this impressive group at an elegant awards dinner Friday, June 28th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Sandia Resort and Casino. For more information and to reserve your spot among these stars, go to albuquerquebusinessfirst.com forward slash events. This month at Frost Mortgage, we are offering our clients 3.5% 30-year fixed-rate mortgages. Do you have a 3.5% mortgage? If not, call Frost Mortgage and get one. What every child deserves. To be safe in our home. Food and clothes. Not to be hurt. A good education. To grow up with our brothers and sisters. To be loved, valued, and respected. El Ranchito is a loving and stable children's home where brothers and sisters can live together as they grow into adulthood or until they can be reunited with their families. With your help, El Ranchito de los Niños will continue its mission for years to come. Learn how you can help. Call us today. Let's meet Steve Henke and Wally Drangmeister with the New Mexico Oil and Gas Association and get an inside look at this very important and fascinating industry. New Mexico's oil and gas industry is proud of the role we play in the overall success of our state. This industry supports nearly 30,000 high paying jobs and every single day New Mexico oil and gas brings more than six million dollars in taxes and royalties to the state of New Mexico and local governments. These dollars support public schools, state universities and other government services across the state and lower the tax burden for every New Mexican. One of New Mexico's major oil and gas producing regions is right here in the Permian Basin. The Permian Basin is in and around the towns of Roswell, Artesia, Hobbs, Lovington, and Carlsbad. The majority of New Mexico's oil is produced in this region. The first wells were drilled in this area in the 1920s. Recent improvements in exploration, drilling, and well completion technology have added spectacular new growth and activity to the area. A company playing a big part in New Mexico's oil business is McVeigh Drilling. Their crews keep plenty busy drilling wells throughout the Permian Basin from southeast New Mexico into west Texas. Since the middle of 2009, McVeigh Drilling has been running at almost 100% capacity. We're drilling for small independent oil companies as well as big well-known companies. Over the past year, I'd say we've drilled almost 60 wells. That means we're keeping a lot of people employed. 30 workers for each rig that we operate and up to 50 indirect jobs for every well that we drill. Probably 95% of our wells are drilled horizontally. Horizontal drilling allows us to drill down several thousand feet and then curve the borehole to drill horizontally for up to two miles. The producing area is then treated with a process called hydraulic fracturing. Hydraulic fracturing or fracking has been used safely in the state of New Mexico for more than 50 years. 
In areas where oil exists in very dense solid rock, we inject a solution that is mostly water and sand along with some special additives under high pressure. Water opens small fractures in the rock and the sand wedges in these fractures keeping them open to allow the oil and gas to flow. Because of horizontal drilling and hydraulic fracturing, we're seeing great numbers of productive wells being drilled every month in southeast New Mexico. And all companies now report what's in the hydraulic fracturing fluid to state regulators for every well that is treated. Protecting the environment, groundwater, and human health are part of everyone's job in the oil and gas industry. Today's oil and gas industry takes great care in locating our well pads where there will be the least amount of disturbance to plants and wildlife. We avoid areas such as the Shinnery Oak Dunes, which are home to the dune sagebrush lizard, and we avoid areas where lesser prairie chickens mate. In fact, in prairie chicken habitat, we even cease drilling operations during the mating season. One of the major safeguards in protecting the environment and the groundwater is proper well construction. Construction methods like this and regulatory inspections are important factors that help us to safely drill, hydraulically fracture, and operate the wells. Once an oil well is drilled, it can operate for years, even decades. And with good stewardship, the productive life of an oil field can be extended. We can learn more at the East Vacuum Facility near Hobbs. We are here at our East Vacuum Grayberg San Andreas CO2 plant. Here at the East Vacuum, we are in third stage recovery, which is where we actually pump carbon dioxide in the ground for third stage recovery. First, we capture and separate the oil, gas, and produced water at our central tank battery. The gas and carbon dioxide are then compressed and re-injected back into the field in a series of injection wells. After that, the carbon dioxide is then recirculated in a continuous process. This technology extends the life of the oil fields and enables us to produce higher quantities of oil for a longer period of time. As you can see, the oil and gas industry is dependent on the rocks of New Mexico, but it's also an industry that rocks New Mexico. Our communities and each and every one of us benefit from New Mexico oil and gas. The economic impact of the oil and gas industry in southeastern New Mexico has been tremendously positive. Employment is up, local tax revenue is up, and there's an ever-growing vibrancy in those of us living in this part of the state. Families, small businesses, contractors, you name it. We are all very proud of the contributions oil and gas make toward education in New Mexico. Oil and gas revenues benefit every public school, college, and university all across the state, including our own New Mexico Junior College right here in Hobbs. In addition to the impact that the oil and gas industries have on local commerce, our oil and gas businesses are among our top leaders in local civic affairs. They are very generous in time, talent, and treasure toward local causes and community activities. We're very grateful for the people working in the oil and gas industry and the positive impact they have on their communities and the entire state of New Mexico. That's Who Rocks for this morning. If you'd like to watch any of our Who Rocks segments or find out how your business or organization can rock New Mexico, we invite you to go online to whorocksnm.com and join us this afternoon at 4.30 for a special and new edition of Who Rocks New Mexico. Next week will be preempted because of the French Open. We'll be back here at our regular time in two weeks. I'm Richard Holcomb. Be sure to thank our friends who serve in the U.S. military and have a great day, everybody. Thank you.